Guys, I encourage you to listen to every word of this opening real quick. Just this intro, just listen. Where do you come you from? We are exiles. We are the exiles. We are the fallen. You made the decision to go after strange flesh. This is about one thing. This is about us being consumed by another race. Let's get them in a host body system so we can destroy them. You're a kingdom divided. You're good and evil. You are the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. To rectify that situation, you got to be turned up. It's how you know that you know Jesus. And if it doesn't add up to the scriptures and it's not true, that's right. If it doesn't add up to the scriptures and it's not true, let me let me remind you guys of some stuff. I had some videos that were taken down. They had eight million views. Uh, you know, one was called "The Sun Rising in the West: The Antichrist Unveiled," and it was about the life of Barack Obama and all the thing, all the stuff that didn't make any sense. Hopefully, it's manifested enough now so everyone can see exactly what's going on, where we're at. And what's happening in world history. This is the end of the world. I know this guy that's been banging the pots and pans since 2002. Showed everybody all the bombings of the buildings in the United States are printed as images on the money in your wallet. $20 bills, $10 bills, $100 bills. Anyway, all that stuff's already been shown to everybody. Um, but now these hurricanes, I want you to understand what's going on. And what's going on with Lahaina? And remember, Paradise, uh, Eden, California, Paradise, in, in Eden. Um, let me remind you just very quickly. I just want you guys to understand where we're at. Very quickly, okay. There's a name of a hurricane that just happened. It was named Helene. Helene means bright, shining one. There it is. So Helene means it's French origin, bright, shining one. You know, like Lucifer. It also translated from Greek means, means solar deity. See right here, solar deity. Let me remind you guys. Now, you remember this guy's got a book called Rising Star. He's got a company called Higher Ground Productions suggesting that they are going from the pit, out of the pit to higher ground because he is a rising star. And that rising star is mentioned in the Hadith when it says the coming of the Mahdi shall be the uh preceded by the sun which is his logo rising from the place of its setting so the sun rising over the west uh, is the hadith the coming of the islamic jihad leader which is obama and so here is the letter o it's the sun rising over the stripes of the american flag that was his logo in 2008 and here is joe biden and you know again the trump presidency who won the election well i'll tell you what you see the letter O coming over the stripes of the American flag? That suggests that this star has risen out of the pit as a, an angelic being that's come out of the pit. And he will, uh, he, the, the angel of the abyss will be the incarnation of the angel of the abyss in a host body. Jesus was the incarnation of El, the Almighty God, in a host body. And he came in the likeness of sinful flesh to save his angels that got trapped in the flesh. I like wearing this shirt for a reason. It's, it says fast house and there's a lightning bolt to remind everybody that we are in a house, a host body. That is your house. And it is a very fast house. You live your life and you're done and it's over. And if you don't get converted and return back to your father in heaven, then they get your soul. I took the, I, it says speed free, free my soul. I changed the way it's, spelled there and it says the e and the l l free my soul because that's who freed my soul l the almighty god and he came in the form of emmanuel with us as l so now let me just remind everybody of a couple things now y'all remember the olympics it showed uh the golden traveler right here right here the golden traveler with all the worms coming up from the ground y'all remember that let me just click on it there he is golden traveler and there's all the worms coming up. Lucifer, I will arise above the stars. I will set my throne to breed worms. I've shown you exactly the vocabulary. Madonna, same thing, exact same paradigm. 
Madonna coming up from the pit with this image behind her like the devil. There's Madonna. She comes up. She drops. She makes her cloak look like a keyhole, like the bottomless pit has been opened. The keys opened it. And now her eye is going to have an X on it with an X on her chest. There you go. Representing the female energies out of the pit. Here comes the transgender takeover of the world. And then here we go. And it just keeps going ad infinitum. The Olympic flag ceremony was the same thing. The rider on the pale horse, she carries the flag. They lift the flag up. It is upside down. Uh, those who try and hide their plans, they turn everything upside down. Also, the Little Deviant commercial. I've shown all these things to you. The Little Deviants, they come from underground. What are they doing? They're coming up and they're dragging the sheep down. All the sheeple. And the sheeple are compliant and make for fine ingredients. For customizing anything, here come the little deviants. So here they come from underground. The demonic entities taking over the host body system. That's why the sh uh, in the little deviant commercial, uh, the little deviant put on a sheep costume and led the other ones to the slaughter. Here's Ozzy Osbourne, patient number nine, Mut, mother goddess, twin female, coming up from the pit. The two becoming one, becoming the serpent, which is what's taking over the earth right now. Patient number nine exemplifies it. Uh, Obama's higher ground production exemplifies it. He's gay. Uh, Michael's transgender. Everybody knows it. Just ask Joan Rivers. Oh, that's right. She's dead. Um, let's see. Here's another uh, example of the same thing. It's all the same. It's getting kind of old. It's just all the same thing. Even the gangs that were taking over in, um, in I believe, uh, what was it, Colorado? Yeah. 303 is on the door. 303 means up. And then they were wearing these bracelets that say entrega, which means to arrive, which represents the devil is arriving. He's arriving. He's arriving now. Even the movie Nefarious, it has it on the whole album, the in, I mean, on the whole poster. So the whole movie is about demonic possession of a guy named Edward. Edward is taken over by a demonic entity and many others. The The word nefarious, the N is backwards, the R is backwards. The whole movie is about demonic possession. If you take the letter N, it is the 14th letter of the alphabet. If you invert that, it's 41. R is the 18th. You invert that, it's 81. If I look that up in the Bible, 4181 in the Bible, because I speak the language of angels, the Lord taught me... He just reminded me, actually, you won't, you know it. Let me show you how to remember it. So here it is. N is 14. N backwards is 41. R is 18. R backwards is 81. In the Bible, the number 4181 is possession. There's no way I could show you a movie that's about demonic possession and the letter N and the letter R being opposite directions right there. In the Bible, backwards means possession. That means I obviously speak a language other people don't. It means I obviously have an insight that other people don't. The end of the world is about female energy taking over the world. Let me show you. Have you watched the trailer for that same movie I told you about? Nefarious, it starts out, it says, he is as a state of being, like male energy. And then it, it changes to H-E, and then it puts in R right there, her is and then it continues and it is h-e-r and then one two showing the twin female system taking over her is like she has become h-e-r the future is female so h-e-r and then there's two i letter i's because she is coming to her own and then at the very end it says isn't t meaning no, no more male energy going backwards the other way. And it's all woven into a poster. And if you don't think that's supernatural, then you're blind, deaf, and dumb. And I'm just telling you, I'm here. I'm a harbinger. I told you I was. And now I'm sure most people are going to believe me now. Helene, it means the shining one. You know, like no different than uh, the shining one right here that, you know, the the Olympic golden traveler with the worms coming up. They it was a biblical manifestation of uh, Isaiah 14. I will rise above the stars of El. Here's the rising star. Okay, well, remember on his mom's passport renewal from Indonesia, it says Hawk Rob Eos. I'm sorry, when I said Hawk Rob Eos, I got a little ahead of myself. It says Barack Hussein Obama Sobarka. The word Sobarka backwards is H A K R A B, Hawk Rob Eos. Hawk Rob Eos. Again, I told you the Lord God whom I serve taught me how to remember the language that is inherent in all angels. Okay, and here it is. Backwards, 
Hawk Rob Eos, you're looking right at it, is. So Barca backwards is Hawk Rob right there, plus Eos. Hawk Rob right there in in Arabic. Latin, Greek, Arabic, the definitions meanings together, 28 name Arabic. In Hebrew, Hawk Rob is a scorpion. So on the back of his mother's passport, the word. So Barca backwards is scorpion, and then Eos is goddess of the dawn. Now, if you don't think the mystery of everything has been solved with me just speaking it out very quickly, then you need to rewatch this entire intro. Everything I just said, the Lord God used me to solve the entire riddle of existence and who the players are now in the end of the world. Now, let me show you what the plan is. Okay, so there's another hurricane that's on the way. The first one was called Helene. It means bright, shining one. It also means solar deity. I showed you Solar Deity because that is a logo that Obama used for his presidency. He used the sun rising from the place of its setting, Solar Deity, to where also the cult of Cebu that Stanley Ann Dunham was in means to worship the rising sun, which is also Obama's logo. Now, let's go to the name Milton, which is the name of the new hurricane. What does Milton mean? Well, the word mill means to mill. And uh, the word to mill, it means to grind uh, into grain or flour uh, for process, for grinding uh, something into grain or flour. Or it means to shape a material into something else. Like you take wood to the mill and it's milled, it's changed into something else. So the name Milton means a place where something is changed. And then it, the word ton means enclosure. So, or town. Milton means an enclosure or a town or a settlement where something is changed. Now, let me show you something that most people don't know. John Milton wrote Paradise Lost uh, as a poem, and it's a biblical story of the fall from grace of Adam and Eve. And I'm going to suggest to you that the name of the hurricane name, named Milton right now is simply, again, a manifestation, just like everything else I've shown you is absolutely a manifestation and it's not arguable because you're looking right at it so now i'm going to give you a video that i put together i just i've been carrying this burden for a long time i know the time is upon us now so i'm just trying to talk very directly just get it out i love you guys in christ i just want to be all about the business of getting this information out right now so it's off my back by the way um before i show you this video I very much would like to suggest there's a uh, channel called Professor Nez. I, I really enjoy watching the guy break down uh, cases, legal cases. He's very good, and uh, he's got a good heart. And then also there's a guy called Hustle Bitch. And during the Lahaina uh, do attack and the land grab, uh, during that time, this guy Hustle Bitch, he had a channel, and he was really knocking them down. And then the feds went and got to him. And now he's trying to let you guys know what's going on in the mountains of North Carolina with the land grab for all the lithium that they are really after. And if you'll go to his channel, uh, you can watch some excellent, um, uh, excellent videos on showing you the mechanics of what's really going on. And I'll take you there in just a minute. Now, I'm just going to slow down. I'm going to play a video that Zach and I put together. I want you to understand they're manifesting their plans right before your very eyes. And I'm just going to say this. You're going to see a, a clip of a, a FBI guy saying that Obama was produced as a, a CIA, CIA asset and to take down the United States from the inside. Well, if y'all don't think that's happened since he showed up on the stage, then you're nuts. Okay. Everything that this guy says has turned out to be true. Also that he would uh, have put orders for our military to take equipment into certain uh, theaters where there were conflicts going on and then to leave the equipment, abandon our own equipment. Does that sound familiar? Um, Afghanistan, $87 billion of equipment. That would be a good way to arm um, the Islamic world, wouldn't it? Just leave them a bunch of equipment because you had to leave in a hurry for some reason that didn't make any sense. Uh, while you have some puppet named Joe Biden there that you can use as a scapegoat while you're in your basement, wearing your sweats, calling the shots. So anyway, it's obvious now. It's stupid obvious. He's gay. Michelle is not Michelle. It's Michael. He even said his favorite thing is walking with his husband, Michael, holding hands. That's it. So anyway, we all know it, but it was a transgender takeover of the world 
female energy from the tip pit taking over male energy which are angels from heaven that are trapped alongside in a host body system that is created by twin female energy from the pit through parthenogenesis which means virgin genesis that's why there's a giant religion that worships a virgin called catholicism and most other virgin most other religions around the world have a form of mother goddess worship okay it's obvious now i have 70,000 images that show you the same data the same data points it's conclusive it's not arguable okay now ready let's just do this and let's be done the end of the world's here guys i love you in christ it's time to get your account settled ready uh the name of the new hurricane is called what milton i want to again john milton it it's a poem about adam and eve and the fall from grace and paradise lost well that would be a real slap in the face to everybody wouldn't it to roll in Milton while you're using weather modification as a weapon against your own people. So you're going to see another clip in this video. I'm going to show you a 1995, I believe, in a, a Senate or, ho or House. They were looking at the weather modifications that were being used already at that time. And you're going to hear testimony in front of the House that, yes, these uh, patents we already had as a nation back in 19. 95 is when the testimony was being done and that those weapons would be used to starve American citizens and to create havoc in order to take over the United States by the new world order. You're going to hear that. And then you're going to hear uh, Obama also saying that weather modification is the, or no, I'm sorry, climate change is the biggest issue facing the world. And the reason they did that is they were front loading everybody 20 years ago, starting the climate cult uh, with John Kerry and what was the other guy? Uh, Al Gore. Remember Al Gore? Yeah. You got to get the climate cult thing going, even though there were scientists showing that it was complete nonsense. But they kept pushing the agenda, which was a smart thing to do, because when they would take over the U.S. from the inside and the, the weapons that they're using are the only ones they could use that have plausible deniability in order to destroy the infrastructure within the U.S. Have you noticed there uh the, all the bridges that were being taken out, the barges. Remember all the weird uh, train uh, trains that were derailing in very peculiar places. Have you noticed that you know the people that were in charge of the transportation, uh, the guy that was assigned to that, wasn't doing anything about any of it? Have you noticed none of it makes any sense? It more seems like there's a group of people that are absolutely determined to make sure the people in the U.S. fail. That's what is become painfully obvious now and the way they're going to do it is they're going to use weather modification as a weapon wow look at this wow there's something going on with my my whole uh my whole uh recording thing this is obviously being looked at that's a, glad you're here if you are here god bless you i love you in christ and i mean that and your only hope is to turn to the king of kings jesus not satan jesus is the king of kings so anyway the time is upon us right now guys and so now let me play this video and see if i can get this out before any more uh equipment problems happen by the way if y'all weren't such cowards why do you why don't you just let everybody speak just let everybody tell the truth it's the glory of elohim to hide isn't it uh don't forget Lying is the language of who? Satan. So if someone's a liar, then they're a child of Satan. And if you haven't been, if you haven't uh, repented of your lies and you haven't been born again, then you're still a child of Satan. That's all there is to it. Okay, that's what the Bible says and that's what's right. Here you go. Let's do it. Y'all ready? Okay, I'm leaving this. John Milton. Many scholars consider paradise lost. Don't forget, Milton's the name of the hurricane. Paradise Lost to be one of the greatest poems because they're making fun Just of us. They're making fun of us that it's over. They're coming in. They're they're coming for broke now. Here it comes. Guys, just sometimes when you know who's who and what's what, where they came from, and all the lies that they told. Remember, lies are the language of Satan. No one, no one even questions about you know Obama's birth certificate anymore. Joe Arpaio and Mike Zulo proved it was a complete fraud. Two for and then because how tough those guys are, they threw an 80. I think Arpaio was 82 years old when Obama threw him in jail. 82-year-old man because he busted him. <laughs> it's like, come on, dude.
<laughs> uh, but yeah, when Jesus was born, it was peace on earth, good will to men. See, the system that we're in, the entity from the pit that's operating the serpent wants to destroy all goodwill. That's the reason FEMA is not allowing people to bring in goods and help other people. They don't want other people helping other people. So they're stopping people from bringing goods and, you know, supplies to the people in the mountains that need them. They want to do a land grab. They want their lithium mines. They want the lithium there because of the future. You know, remember Noval Harari, uh, Klaus Schwab's right-hand little psychopath, where he said, now, finally, the inorganic life realm is going to break out. Uh, the organic life realm life is going to break out into inorganic like. Yeah, you know, like machine life. Oh, how exciting. That's what he said. He said, human beings are hackable animals. Go look it up. He said it over and over. Human beings are hackable animals. He has contempt and disdain for humans. So they have contempt and disdain for humans. So they have ill will towards humanity. Jesus has goodwill towards humanity. You see what I mean? And here I am stuck in the middle with you. And here we are. So here's what's coming, folks. So pay attention again. Sorry, just ready. Forensics labs in different parts of the world proved it was a complete fraud. Mike Zulo proved it was a complete fraud. Birth certificate anymore. Joe Arpaio and Mike Zulo proved it was a complete fraud. Two forensics labs in different parts of the world proved it was a complete fraud. Joan Rivers, everybody knows Barack Obama's gay and that Michael's and Michelle's a trans. Everyone knows it. We all know it. So why'd they lie about it? Why would they why? lie about it? Why not why just Why would tell you everybody? lie about all that? Why don't you just be who you are if it's so okay? Or is that the agenda, the agenda, the secret agenda that you're going to roll out in your second term? You're absolutely right. Your second agenda was the transgender agenda. You just had to keep it under wraps. It was just, oh, everyone just, they just want to get married. Okay, whatever. But you want to slowly whittle away, nibbles wood away, just nibble away at the truth of the Lord God. And you want to take good and bring it into a system and destroy it. And the system is what's used to destroy good. And the system is used what to destroy what's good. That's right. Angelic beings get trapped in a host body system that's inherently evil and it's attached to the other side, the Sitra Akra. And they use that system to destroy angelic beings which are wrought in God. And they get them in the system and they destroy their essence. They destroy their holiness. That's the goal. And then they get their soul and then they convert them into a locust army that will come out to make war against the Lord God. That's it. That's the whole story. Now, that's where we're at in world history. Now, watch and pay attention now. Here we go. And this is the tree of the knowledge of good. And evil and evil seeks to destroy the good take that which is good and holy and destroy it that's what this is all about no one's who they say they are or what they are you don't even know what they are <laughs> it's insane they're just pure frauds outward appearance is nothing what's running them is everything y'all want to see something crazy y'all know who uh, willie brown was the mayor of san francisco i believe Wild man back in. The okay, I want to make a point before you watch this part. Ready? Willie Brown back in the old days, San Francisco mayor, wild man. Okay, well, we don't, nobody knows who Obama is. He's never been honest about who he is. His logo is the sun rising from the place of its setting. That's pretty wild. The sun rising from the place of its setting. That's the Hadith, the coming of the Mahdi, the one that will lead the world Islamic Jihad. Let's see what's going on right now. Oh, all the world Islamic world's going after Israel right now. Oh, that's crazy. That's weird. And what else is happening? Oh, everyone's saying we're not going to give Israel weapons anymore, but we'll give crap loads of money to the Ukraine and to all the immigrants and leave our people in the United States without money to pay for their food or their housing or whatever they need. So screw all those people, but let's bring everybody else in. That makes sense. Of course it makes sense. That's what someone who loves you would do. Of course it does. Now, pay attention. The day. Oh, so the point was, so I got off on a tangent. The point was, 
So nobody really knew who he was. Uh, he said he, he was a junior senator, but he was gay. Larry Sinclair. Go watch Tucker Carlson about Larry Sinclair. Everybody knew it that was paying attention back then. Uh, it, I mean, it's so nobody knew who Obama was. And Michelle's really a dude. Everybody's starting to figure it out now. Oh, my God. Why they lie to everyone? Well, what about what about uh, Kamala Harris? Who's Kamala Harris? Where'd she come from? Did you see Candace Owen busted her? She was claiming that her her uh one of the servants for her parents was her grandmother <laughs> yeah because she was black but kamala harris she talks in a different accent no matter where she, if she's talking to black people all of a sudden she's got a black accent if she's talking to people in the south she's got a southern accent i mean that's kind of weird don't you think well let me tell you how weird is this ready he's a rogue all right notorious for his flamboyant lifestyle flashy clothes fancy parties now don't forget this is the old will i believe willie brown the old mayor of san fran i believe fine women are you his daughter who fine nah, women wanna, he just he's he said i'm sorry i'm just gonna jump in someone walked up to willie brown at a party and said oh hi how are you who are you his daughter that's kamala harris Rumor has it she used to be a high tag, high price call girl. That's what rumor has it. Now you'll have to go vet that for yourself, but yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, there she is with Willie Brown. I mean, I'm just saying that's what rumor had. You can go vet that yourself. This is the mayor of San Francisco, I believe. A wild man back in the day. He's a rogue, all right. Notorious for his flamboyant lifestyle. Flashy clothes, fancy parties, fine women. Are you his daughter? Who? Fine women. Are you his daughter? Wow. Oh, yeah, so you sure right about that. And fast cars. You should from now on address me as the mayor. If ever a man and a municipality were made for each other, it is this man, this place. We did it. We did it, Joe. 2008, something unbelievable. Now, this is uh, this is an interview from a guy that FBI, older interview, and he's going to tell you about an asset that he found out way back then. You know, this is way, way back in the day, guys. And he's going to tell you they all knew that Obama was coming up in the ranks as a CIA asset, all this stuff, Saudi asset. Anyway, so the end of the world's here. The host body system is ready to receive the pit. The pit's coming up, taking over. And those of us that are Christians, they're going to slaughter every one of us. That's it. That's the goal. Anyway, that's their goal. Also, the Lord said, trust in me. This is where you have a chance to show your faith in God, too. Here we go happened for us in the <clears throat> FBI. We were getting lots of rumors. Let me go back a little bit. Here we go. If ever a man Why is Kamala Harris at that age? She looks like she's barely 20 years old. What's she doing with Willie Brown? Man and a municipality were made for each other. It is this man, this place. We did it. We did it, Joe. 2008, something unbelievable happened. We did it. We did it, Joe. 2008, something unbelievable happened for us in the FBI. We were getting lots of rumors about this high-level asset that worked for several intelligence agencies at the same time. He worked for the Saudi intelligence service. He worked for the CIA, and he was being developed as a political asset in Chicago, Illinois. He was not even a United States citizen, but it was said that he was a student visa and that he was a, a national from another country. In 2008, everyone in the intelligence structure found out who he was. It was this individual whose name I don't like to say who became... Okay, I want to pause it right here while this guy, now listen, I want you to understand all these little short clips. If you want to see these little short clips with no editing, just go to my folders. They're all in there and we have them backed up in dozens of places. So all the, all the raw data is available, but I want to show you something. So this guy's talking about this asset that's being developed 
you know, as a CIA asset and these other assets and as a political asset that would be used to take the United States down by the New World Order. Now, watch this. Here is uh, this uh, Anita Blanchard right here. And I want you to look at this girl right here. And I want you to look at look at her face. Look at her face. Look at the face. Look at the smile. Look at the face. Now, I want you to look at the, this guy's lips and look at her. Look at the smile. Look at the smile. Just take the smile. Slide it right over there. Look at the face. Look at the face. This is the father of this child. This is the mother of this child. These are good friends of the Obamas, the Nesbits, and she's a gynecologist and he's a whatever. But uh, those are the alleged daughters of Barack, who's gay, and Michael, who's got a penis. So why would you try and trick the whole world into thinking that you had children? Why didn't you just come out and say, hey, guys, this is what we are. And if it's OK, then don't worry about it. I mean, if you lied about it, then you have to be a child of Satan. Because the Bible says that, especially on such a grotesque, huge lie. I mean, that's a huge lie. That's a gigantic lie. And then there's a whole lot of people lying for you. So now you've incorporated the whole lie into this overarching uh, fake reality. So it's no longer just a lie. You have all you have a whole country living a fake reality because your president isn't at all who he said he was. And neither is he's got fake children up on the stage. Uh, Kamala Harris, she's uh, she doesn't know which accent she's going to use from day to day. Uh, uh, Biden doesn't know which direction he's going left, right, up, down, sideways. He doesn't know where he's at. So just stop and think about all that with what's going on in the world today with Israel being surrounded by vast armies. The Bible says when you see Jerusalem surrounded by vast armies, you'll know the time of desolation is nigh. Quick footnote to all the people that are so brain dead to, to say that I said that Israel, just the piece of territory, represents all, all those people or God's chosen people. You're brain dead. Um, I never said that, but Israel, the land over there is a representation of God's people, period, period. The Jewish nation are his people. The God of the Hebrews means the God of the other side. You know, the other side of where? Well, let's see. There's a God from the pit. There's there's the, the surface we're walking around on in the host body system that we're in. And then the God of the other side is the God from the other side of the pit, the God of the Hebrews. So, the God of the Hebrews is, by the way, my God, El, the Almighty God, and Yehoshua, the self-existing eternal Yehovah, Shua, that opens wide the dungeon, the fast house that you got trapped in. Okay, I'm just going to speak deliberately, it's factual, and if you don't understand me, you better go back and watch a bunch of vids. Here you go. I put this up here because these children... Do not belong to the Obamas. They are stand-ins. Country. In 2008, everyone in the intelligence structure found out who he was. It was this individual whose name I don't like to say, who became president in 2008 of the United States. And I will faithfully execute the office of president of the United States. The office of president of the United States. One of his code names was Renegade. His real name was Barry Sortaro. But uh, he adopted a different name uh, for his political career. When they ran him for president, the cabal, basically, this was the culmination of so many of their plans for so many years. His mission was to destroy the United States from within. Okay, I'm going to pause it. I want you to stop and think about what you're listening to. Now, listen, I went to the FBI in San Antonio. I took the FBI all the images, all, all the U.S. currency notes that show all the bombings. The Lord told me, you will go over there. You will show them what I've given you. I was like, I'm probably not coming back. Okay. But I did what he said. I went over there. I showed them the bombings on the Twin Towers. I showed them the bombing uh, of the Pentagon on the backside of the $20 bill. I showed them the old $20 bill that had the federal building bombing on it. And then I turned the bill over. I showed them the federal building blown in half and then i showed him the prophetic utterance from 2008 and i showed him the new bombings that were coming that are printed on the ten dollar bill and the hundred dollar bill i gave that information to the fbi with all the other information that i'm showing you 
do you understand? I've already stuck my neck out as far as any human being can stick their neck out. That's it. I don't care. I serve El, the Almighty God. This is the truth, and this is what I was told to show everybody. Now, I don't wish ill will or hostile feelings or hate on anybody. I actually feel sorry for all the people that are involved in this big giant lie and cover it because the light of the Lord God's already exposed it through me. So if I can show it to you, what do you think is going to happen when they have to stand in front of the one who used me just to expose it? That's terrifying. Uh, to me, I'd rather be obedient to him and scared of him than scared of anybody else. And that's it. Be, fear the Lord. There you go. Now, here we go. Back to it. Think about what this guy just said. Think about what he just said. Listen again. The, the cabal, basically, this was the culmination of so many of their plans for so many years. His mission was to destroy the United States from within, one institution at a time. One of the things he did, of course, was he, he defunded our military. He brought down, he brought down uh, the resources that they got. Uh, but then he ordered our military in many, many instances and in various theaters to attack our allies and to defend and supply and help our enemies. That's exactly how he created ISIS. He would say publicly that the military were going to bomb our, our enemies. But then he would have the military actually bomb uh, enemies of ISIS, our allies. He gave ISIS funding and equipment uh, by basically ordering our military to take equipment into a certain theater and then abandon it. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? He would have our military take equipment into a certain theater and then abandon it. What did they do in Afghanistan when O'Biden was in office? Oh, all of a sudden we have to get out. We have to get out. Just leave all the equipment. That's insane. That was just to, that was just to give it to him. Anyone with half a brain knows it. It was a way to arm uh, uh, Islam. Here's 87 billion in equipment for Islam. That's what they did. So now here we go. Let's uh, now. What are they? What are they doing now, though? Uh, now they're 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 giving they're giving benefits that should go to people that fought in wars, like our veterans. They're throwing them out of hotels. People of in our country that can't afford their food and their lodging. They're giving it all to uh, immigrants and they're giving them debit cards. Even in Ohio, where all the Haitians were, there were people from the stores uh, that worked at the stores looking at the EBT card saying there's $19,000 on our car. There's $16,000 on their cards coming in. So these people are being given that kind of bank. But then your own citizens can't get any help. And even veterans that fought in wars are being kicked out of hotels while migrants are taking their place. Now, is that seem like uh, the guy that. Whoever's running things is here to help you, or are they here to make sure they don't care about your well-being anymore? Which one is it? I mean, just if you look at the raw data, which one is it? What happened in uh, in North Carolina? Uh, well, FEMA stopped a bunch of people from going in and trying to pass out uh, resources for people that were in desperate need. So now because they wouldn't let a lot of people hand out resources and they said they'll arrest them if they do that. Why would you arrest someone that's trying to show goodwill to his neighbor and his brother? That's insane. The reason why is because they don't want you to show goodwill to them. They want dog against dog. They want brother against brother. They want the resources not to be there. Therefore, people will turn on each other and fight each other and kill each other, which is what they're wanting to do to the whole country. Climate change cult was a bunch of bullshit so they could front load everybody 20 years in advance and then pull out the weather mods and start toasting everything and blaming oh it's the weather no it's not it's your own government using it against everybody there i said it everybody knows it here we go he gave isis funding and equipment uh by basically ordering our military to take equipment into a certain theater and then abandon it. And on this issue of funding, the administration has money to send to Lebanon without Congress coming back. 
but Congress does have to come back to approve money to send to people in North Carolina. Do I have that right? He asked a very simple question. This is the guy, Professor Nez. Uh, he's really, I, I really enjoy watching the guy. You should go subscribe. She turned this into a, like, she starts acting like a tirading, petulant toddler. Why is it that every time liberals are faced with facts and truth, they act like this? They just start stomping their feet and acting all maniacal, raising their voice, and ju -ju -ju, I don't like this, and you're just, no, 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 what you're doing, they just r rush to presumptions, rush to judgment, and then storm out like little crybabies. He asked a very simple question. Why is it that you can actually give hundreds of millions of dollars to Lebanon without Congress's approval, but you're telling the American people you cannot give extra funding to North Carolina and other victims of Hurricane Helene without Congress who are on vacation right now. Vin, I want to now remember this victims of Hurricane Helene, bright, shining one. Just remember, when I break these things down for you in the language of angels, Hurricane Helene means the bright, shiny one is the, this is the force. This is the entity that is doing what it's doing. The Olympics was the bright, shining one bringing up the worms, representing his army, taking over the minds and the hearts and the minds of the population of the world. A new race, a race within a race. Lady Gaga birthing a new race, a race within a race, a race with no prejudice. Remember birthing a new race? Remember we all have a reptilian side of our brain? Remember it's here now. This is it. This is what it is. And now it's manifesting. You can tell every tree by its fruit. They can say whatever words they want to say, but their actions show what and who they are and what they're doing. Okay, here we go who are on vacation right now. And the commanders would say, that's ridiculous. We're just without Congress who are on vacation right now. And the commanders would say, that's ridiculous. We'd just be handing that stuff over to ISIS. And the I'm gonna go back and let this play for about three minutes so you can hear what this guy says in context with the transition, listen. Very simple question. Why is it that you can actually give hundreds of millions of dollars to Lebanon without Congress's approval, but you're telling the American people you cannot give extra funding to North Carolina and other victims of Hurricane Helene without Congress who are on vacation right now. And the commanders would say, that's ridiculous. We'd just be handing that stuff over to ISIS. And the president's office would say, uh, don't question orders, just follow your orders. Sure. Another question on, on the uh... okay now, what you so I the point is what they were what they were talking about. Hang on one sec. So what's the difference if you're taking military equipment and you're you're leaving it for other groups to just take it because we go there and we leave it, we abandon it so they can have it. That's just a way of arming those people that are against the U.S. That's all it is. Well, what's the difference in that and then? Uh, taking $200 million of people's money from the U.S. that pay taxes and giving it uh, to Palestine, $200 million, But the people that are suffering from the bright, shining one, Helene uh, uh, Hurricane, those people can't get that $200 million, but Palestine can. And Jereen, Karine Jean-Pierre just got super pissed off and stormed out. The reason they get pissed off is because they know they're caught in their lies. They know they're caught in their deceit. That's why they act petulant and upset and pissy. And that's why they're like, oh, you're racist. No, 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 no. Y'all are caught. And then your only way to go, oh, y'all are racist. Y'all are doing this. They always try and spin it like you're the guilty ones and they're not. But now the light of day is making everything so obvious. So the Lord's coming now and everything will be brought into the light. The Bible says in the end, everything secret will be public. Guess what? The Vatican's a freaking snake wearing a crown. Guess what? All the bombings in the United States, the Pentagon, the Twin Tower, the Federal Building bombing, they're all printed as images on money in your wallet. I'm the guy the Lord sent to show you. I'm the guy that was awakened that the Lord said, now go show everybody what I show you. It, it The complete 
lack of regard for my own life. I'm like, okay, well, whatever happens, happens. The Lord told me to do it. Okay, so I've done it. I did my job, and now it's here. Okay, again, here we go. This right here, this aired in the 1990s. What you're looking at right now is a guy giving that testimony I told you about, about weather modification, that it would be used to destroy U.S. citizens by the new world order. You know, like George Bush, well, we have a real chance for a new world order. Okay, so we know it's all true now. All the little stuff they said was conspiracy theories. No, what were what was lies was Russian collusion. Adam Schiff and all you liars. These P. Oh well, we have ample uh, we have ample evidence. No, you don't, you liar. Y'all made that shit up, and then you you tried to use it against someone that wasn't guilty, which is as evil as it gets to make up a crime and try and pin it on someone. That's pretty evil stuff, and now everybody knows it. But it's the end now, and they're taking over. Okay, just for the record. 1990s, they're telling us what they were going to do to us back then. They had started the climate cult, uh, climate change cult, because they knew they were going to use these weapons to destroy us. In an interview with the Los Angeles Times on April 21st, you said that the, you told the Associated Press uh, that the American government has created weather tampering techniques so that the new world order will be able to starve millions of Americans and to control the rest. Would you explain what you were... Did y'all hear what he said? Did you hear the question? Question on, on the, uh, in an interview with the Los Angeles Times on April 21st, you said that the, you told the Associated Press uh, that the American government has created weather tampering techniques so that the new world order be able to starve millions of Americans and to control the rest. Would you explain what you were trying to say? Well, it, it, what I was trying to say is exactly what I said. There is weather control techniques. We have a complete package on that, which I did not bring, but I certainly will see to it that it is brought in for the record. Number one, the entire patents on the equipment. Number two, Senator Claiborne Pell's complete statement and story of his own that not only does it exist, that we even utilize it as far back as the Vietnam War. You might want to touch base That's with right, Senator but Pell. I, I just want to repeat Speaking. before we turn to So, yes, yeah, so but so we do have all that information. The, you're saying the government has created weather tampering techniques so that the, quote, new world order will be able to starve millions of Americans. Worldwide. To, millions of Americans and to control the rest. Yes, sir. And that's my belief. As bizarre as that sounds, when if somebody had told me that that equipment even existed 10 years ago, I would have thought they were nuts, sir. And at this point in time, we have all the documents to prove it. And if you think that 85 tornadoes takes place in the middle of our growing area by simultaneous accident, I'm, I'm sorry. With the equipment that's already set up internationally, and as bizarre as that is, it is proven and documented. We will supply you with those documents. As bizarre as that is, I would say that weather wars, and this is uh, quoting actually Senator Claiborne Pell himself, that they are the greatest weapon ever created in the world, and that's the senator's own statement. So, yes, I do stand on that. Thank you. So, did you hear that? So, the senator said... ...say that weather wars, and this is uh, quoting actually Senator Claiborne Pell himself, that they are the greatest weapon ever created in the world, and that's the senator's own statement. So, yes, I do stand on that. Thank you, Mr. Fletcher. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. No challenge poses a greater threat to future generations than climate change. My response is to increase the number and intensity of the extreme weather events and be wary we're going to be use all the resources available to the government to do it. I'm going to pause. Do you all know what a... Freudian slip is, you know, when people say what is really what is going on when they're, they should have said something totally different. He just told you exactly what they're going to do in an erroneous kind of way. He didn't actually mean to, but he said exactly what they're doing. Let's listen again. Okay, ready? Listen very closely. Right here, it's written out. Our response is to increase the number and intensity 
of these extreme weather events. That's what he said. Even though we know what you think he's supposed to really say, oh, we're going to respond to him. Watch what he ends up saying. It's pretty and slip. Been climate change. That response is going to increase the number and intensity of the extreme weather events and be where we're going to be use all the resources available to the government to do it. Nobody can deny the impact of climate crisis. These nobody intelligent can deny. That response is going to increase the number and intensity of the extreme weather events. The rest of North Carolina. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to pause that. Okay, let me go back and let's redo that. Sorry about I'm just going to let it play through. I won't interrupt. Watch, watch this again. The greatest weapon ever created in the world, and that's the senator's own statement. So, yes, I do stand on that. Thank you, Mr. Fletcher. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. No challenge poses a greater threat to future generations than climate change. That response is going to increase the number and intensity of the extreme weather events and be where we're going to be use all the resources available to the government to do it. Nobody can deny the impact of climate crisis. He's nobody intelligent can deny. I want to pause it there. Now, when when Biden starts talking like that, I've, I sat there and I've analyzed some of the way he speaks. When he talks like that, nobody intelligent person can deny. He just gave his whole hand away, dude. No intelligent person can deny that it's climate change. This intelligent person can. No, it's not. It's bullshit. It's weather modification being used as a weapon against everybody. That's what it is. So I'm an intelligent person. I can show you the Vatican's a snake. I can show you all the bombings in the United States are printed as images on U.S. currency notes that are in people's wallets. I've shown it to the world. I can show you uh, the, the Vatican is a giant snake eating a bunch of angels in the form of a sheep. I can show you the system. So when Joe Biden sits there and goes, oh, no intelligent person can say, it's so obvious he's trying to front load you into believing, oh, see, we told you 20 years ago, climate change, and here it is. It's really us pressing buttons with our buddies because we own the government, we own the scientists, and we're the ones making the, what, the climate change. But see, it's so freaking stupid. They're a joke. They're a joke. Now, really, no intelligent person could argue with that. Here we go. That response is going to increase the number and intensity of the extreme weather events and be where we're going to be use all the resources available to the government to do it. Nobody can deny the impact of climate crisis. These nobody intelligent can deny. I can. I'm intelligent. That response is going to increase the number and intensity of the extreme weather events. The rest of North Carolina might not be so lucky. Because if we're to believe thousands and thousands of posts from local citizens, it looks like there's no one there to help them. And according to this lady, things have become so desperate in the mountains of North Carolina that people are now resorting to looting in order to get food for their kids. Here's number one. If you have friends or family that are headed into the mountains or who live there, the looting has picked up major steam. I was advised yesterday by a county sheriff to make sure that anybody out and about is carrying. And in his words, carrying with the safety off. There are very aggressive people out there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. It's not because they're necessarily awful. They're desperate. Desperate people do desperate things, y'all. And why are they desperate? Because there's no water in some of these communities. We have neighbors in North Carolina with no water. And all I can say is this, the government ain't coming to save you, not now, not ever, because they don't care about you, the people, anymore. It is the citizens who are going to have to step it up. President Obama faces criticism from his opponents this morning for suggesting the world's greatest threat is not terrorism but climate change. So we asked him to explain his comments during Wednesday's one-on-one -on -one interview at the White House. It is his first interview since returning from the Paris climate talks. And you did say in the State of the Union that no challenge poses a greater threat to future generations than climate change. Do you mean that it's a greater threat than terrorism? If you start seeing the oceans rise by five, six, seven feet, uh, if uh, you see major shifts in weather patterns so that what have been previously uh, bread baskets to the world suddenly can no longer grow food, then you're seeing the kind of crisis that 
we can't deal with through the deployment of the Marines. We can't deal with it through uh, throwing money at it. You know, what we know is that uh, as human beings are placed under strain, then bad things happen. Uh, and you know, if you look at world history, whenever people are desperate. They're desperate. Desperate people do desperate things, y'all. When people start lacking food, when people uh, are not able to make a living or take care of their families, uh, that's when ideologies arise that are dangerous. Oh. oh, I see. That's when ideologies arise that are dangerous. You see what's going on? It's such front-loading bullshit. Anyway, so now you can see it. It's out in the open. No kidding. Why don't you just tell us Michael's a dude? Why don't, why don't a Kamala just be honest about who she is? Why doesn't someone speak some truth? The Vatican's a snake. They worship Lucifer. The world worships the mother goddess. Those of us that have been converted by El the Almighty, we're few and far between, guys. The end of the world's here. If you can't see it, you're deaf, dumb, and blind. Okay, now, this whole video that I played for you, I interrupted it during the during the entire video. I've been just throwing my two cents at and because I'm I'm tired, I'm disgusted with the whole thing now. These these hurricanes and Lahaina and all that, children missing, people dead, that's being turned on the citizens of this country. But it doesn't matter if it's this country or any other country, because the entity that's taking over the system hates all mankind, has ill will towards mankind because there's a new race of beings taking over remember lady gaga my performance is about a new race of beings a birthing a race within a race that's what's going on but now you can see it okay and they're just they're they're clearing the way okay now i'm gonna play the rest of this video and if you want to just see the the video that i've been interrupting in its entirety go to the show notes I'll show you exactly where to go. Watch this. Let me show you exactly where to go to watch this in its entirety. You got a special, you just open up special project. So you go to this is the end uh, show notes. By the way, it looks like the show notes are under attack. Well, here it is right now. They're not, they're not operating properly. Yeah, here we go. Something's going on. Well, let's see if this will open. Nope. There you go. Looks like it's all under attack, guys. They just don't like people speaking the truth. So I'm going to try and wrap up this video right now then. You ready? Let's let's try and wrap this up, this part, because it's, it's still up. Y'all ready? Y'all can. I'll put the link to the video in its entirety without my comments in the, in the description box. The Vatican's a snake. All the bombings of the buildings in the United States are printed on U.S. currency notes. $20 bill. Is that uh, as human beings are placed under strain, then bad things happen. Uh, and, you know, if you look at world history, whenever people are desperate. They're desperate. Desperate people do desperate things, y'all. When people start lacking food, when people uh, are not able to make a living or take care of their families, uh, that's when ideologies arise that are dangerous. That's Somebody what they wanted. Probably. They wanted people desperate. That's the what Vatican's they're doing. Snake. Here's proof. All Watch. the bombings of the buildings in the United States are printed on U.S. currency. There's all your bombings. $20 bill, Twin Towers, Pentagon, printed on the money. Why? Old $20 bill, federal building bombing, printed on the money. How? New bombings that are coming to this country, printed on the money. Tidal wave and nuke. Who could have shown you that? I know I couldn't have. I know the Lord used me to show it to you. I'm not that smart. Nobody's that smart. But now can you see? Did you know 
people claim that they're Christians, right? But I can show them the Vatican's a snake. They're like, oh, you can say it's whatever you want. I'm like, no, it's a snake. You know how I know it's a snake? Because the Lord God whom I serve restored my vision. What did, what did the prophecy of Isaiah say? I've come up to, I've come to restore sight to the blind, bind up the brokenhearted, the opening of dungeons to them that are bound. What did Jesus say uh, his mission was in Luke 4.18, I think? Luke, uh, he repeated the prophecy of Isaiah to restore the sight to the blind. You know what those exact words mean when you translate them, to restore sight to the blind? To redouble the eyes, to make your eyes single. That's how you restore sight to the blind. If you have an image of the Virgin and all you see is the Virgin, then you haven't seen the other side of it until you flip it. Once you flip the virgin upside down, then you saw the other part of the equation. Now you know the whole truth. There's two sides of the equation, and male energy is being destroyed by female energy within the system. It's the most obvious thing in the world, Adam and Eve. Adam's put to sleep. Eve is down and opposite, a part opposite. And when you discover that, you've discovered the whole equation. Is perfection. This is perfection. And it goes back to the night I got saved. 100% nylon. <laughs> How perfect is the Lord? Turn it upside down. What? This doesn't make any sense. No kidding. Turn the word nylon upside down. 100%. No lion. Well, that's what I've been asking. I just want to know the truth. Oh, 100%. No lion is the truth. But it's the only way to see it is to invert the whole world. <laughs> I love you guys. How paradoxical. It's so perfect that that's how one way you know it's the Lord God. Because the paradox of it is mind-bending. It liter literally is mind-bending. It is mind-bending. Just like Neo sitting there with the little kid. You can't bend the spoon. That's impossible. Realize there is no spoon. Then you'll find out it's yourself that bends. All right, guys, I've been called a cult. If the truth is a cult, then I'm part of that cult, and Jesus is the king of the truth. You see the bear? That represents you. It used to be a nickname that followed me around, the bear, but I love you guys in Christ. The king is coming, so please make your vertical apology. Turn the world upside down. Recognize where you're at what you did, ask for forgiveness, and he'll forgive you. Otherwise, the end of the world's here, and the greatest horror the world's ever seen is rolling out. Now all those references to um, the book of Revelation and all the plagues and all the horrors that are coming are about to happen. They've begun. Jerusalem is surrounded metaphorically and physically. You see the, the land of Israel is surrounded on seven fronts. There's seven different countries coming against them in the Middle East. Seven. When, we're, when you get converted and you become whole in Christ, you're surrounded. Go walk out in the world. See how many there are like you. <laughs> the word Christian is not just a word. It means you have the indwelling spirit of El, the Almighty God, within you. That's what actually being a Christian means. There's not very many. All right. I love you in Christ. That represents you. I'm exhausted. God bless you guys. Peace and grace. And guys, I love you. I'm just, like I said, I'm overloaded with data. I have so much more data, scriptural data that I want to give to you immediately. But all this stuff keeps rolling out, like with the names of the hurricanes and the tie-ins and, you know, everything that's tied together with the, the lithium mining and the, what they're after because the new race of beings, they don't, they don't care about the human host body anymore. They got a new thing coming. That's why do you think they, they care about all the, the green new deal. And they, there's like, no, no humans are going to be able to survive this alleged, Oh, we're going to make it better for humanity. No, this is the new race of beings taking over. Well, what race of beings? Well, they're from the pet. There it is. All right. 
I love you in Christ. All right, guys, peace and grace. And I'll keep posting as much as I can. Check the other platforms, too, because you know how things are. Just the time's short, and they're going to go for everything they can go for these days. Just be aware. All right. Peace and grace, guys.